All right. Okay. Sex, it's the ultimate baby maker. Approximately 11,000 babies are born each day throughout the United States. But in order for them to be born, they need to be conceived. Although some, some babies may be planned, there are some that are not, um, but there are still those who try to prevent it. Daily women attend health centers, clinics, and organizations which allow them to help prevent pregnancy or contracting STDs. Others, it allows them to help themselves in the end. The mo one of the most commonly visited places is Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is a place for sexually active people to attend to either get help, contraceptives, or information. Armetta, the VP of San Bernardino Community of Affairs of Planned Parenthood, in 2006 stated, our goal is to ensure that young women have access to all of the tools necessary to prevent unintended pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. As I continue, I will talk about how Planned, Par Planned Parenthood provides women with medical information and services to help maintain a healthy lifestyle, um, which would be lost if the budget cuts they are currently going through will follow through. Um, the main issue with the budget cuts that the people are facing right now are because of all the conservatives worrying about abortion. But Cecile Richards, president of Planned Parenthood Federation states, the organization now treats more than 3 million people a year with 2.5 million visits for contraceptives alone. But on the Planned Parenthood site, about only 3% accounts for abortion. It may be a hot topic, but they're forgetting about the other services that they provide. Now, Planned Parenthood's other services are screenings for STDs, HIV, cancer, contracept or education, and counseling. Those services may not altogether stop if the budget cuts occur, but it does create some roadblocks. The important points are that it provides services for those limited by poverty or other la or a lack of resources. It allows others to be safe and allows people to get tested or treated. To make a greater appeal than the doctor's office is that Planned Parenthood allows for those to visit and use the services for free or low cost. But if the cuts would go through, they would take that easy service away. And with the unemployment rate being up, there's less money available for people to spend and people may not have the health insurance because they don't have the job. People would end up having to pay for the visit and the pills they may need. High, pr um, high prices would be for the STD screenings. Um, people may lose the counseling and treatment they may have been going for. Um, and less will go because they can't afford the services that they're providing. Um, there may be a decrease in contraceptives, but an e uh, it could lead to an increase in pregnancy and STDs and cancer and HIV could go untreated. Um, people's health could be put at risk from the organization's losses <coughs> because of being untreated or even not finding out they were pregnant right away. Um, people would be unable to take care of themselves because of not going. More would be put at a risk um, because the prices may go up as they lose the budget cuts, but it doesn't mean that the desire to experience all the things would go down. Um, in the end, Planned Parenthood helps many women, men and women because they provide multiple beneficial services and hopefully they will not undergo the budget cuts um, so they're able to function at a full capacity for all to visit and use. Well, I know that your proposition involves something with the budget cuts and some sacrifices that would be made if we if they went through. But if I had to put it together as a sentence, I would I would have a hard time doing so from the introduction that you provided. So you need to have a much clearer statement, and you need to point out that that is in fact the proposition of the speech. 
I didn't think that the supporting structure was as clearly laid out as it needed to be, although there's plenty of controversy on the subject, especially since budget cuts are coming down and it's been an issue that's talked about. I understand uh, that there is some, some dispute on this particular point. Um, most of the support for your point uh, talks about the benefits that Planned Parenthood provides, and it, it, but it's all very abstract. Uh, the best numbers that you have are the number of visits that they have that deal with uh, contraceptive information and the notion that uh, a large number of those people would not get access to that information. I think that needs to be quantified, especially if we're talking about uh, federal budget cuts. What percentage of Planned Parenthood's money comes from the federal budget? Uh, you know, uh, you know, and so as a consequence, what the long-term loss would be in terms of services, that's the way we would probably try and quantify it. Um, otherwise, everything is very speculative. We've got lots of claims, lots of claims, lots of claims, but I don't hear a lot of proof about all of the benefits it's providing. Uh, you know, I get a lot of statements that something may happen, it might be this way, uh, but we don't have an example, even a hypothetical example that is you know, focused or particular <coughs> is missing. Um, and I think that uh, as a result, it just sounds like it's sort of uh, boilerplate stuff about uh, you know, money equals some benefit and lack of money equals some harm. And I think that you need something a little bit stronger than that to, to prove this particular point. All right, thank you.